All right, I haven't done this as the primary clan yet. I've done Hellhorn a couple times, and I think I did Stygian once, maybe twice. We'll do a Woken, and I don't know, but Stygian. Mistakes will be made, and I'm sure things will not be efficient. All right, random starting cards. Against unit with plus eight attack, minus two health. Ugh. Will this go on YouTube? I don't know. I might have to move this stuff around. Twitch chat and my face. We'll see, Andy. It depends how it goes, kind of. How bad I play. So I know the hero makes things cost less, but it's only attack ones, so maybe that'll help with that. I mean, I'm stuck with these no matter what. Apply rooted to an enemy unit. Draw one next turn. Ugh. I think I don't love these. Oh, wait, this is different. I forgot. I don't have the same hero that I thought. Revenge. Draw one. Triggers when damaged. Interesting. They have no attack. Juvenate. Deal 15 damage to front enemy unit. Triggers when healed, even at full health. That sounds pretty good. Use razor sharp edge to kill enemies with low health. What's that? Oh, I didn't think about that. I feel like I like this one better so far. Spells gain an extra upgrade, so I have 50% chance to apply silence when an enemy unit enters your train. Maybe. This is not a good, like, starting artifact, I feel. Enemy units enter with armor 10. Oh boy. Explosive is probably the best ability for her. Unit drafts. Okay, this is the first battle. We'll be fine, right, guys? Alright, let me see. Do I have to adjust? Actually, they look pretty good for where we are. You guys don't need to see the end turn button. Whoa! There's something right there. Good enough. They both got silence. Let's this fire. Want store train! Okay. We're store in hand. Train store. I guess I put him in the front. 25 health, no attack. I mean, Razor Shop Edge works with him too. I mean, it makes sense. What is this, a healer? Fuck, I'm never gonna kill these guys, am I? I feel like dealing 15 here is pretty important. The snare. Double frozen lance to kill him, maybe? This guy probably gonna have to give up on that gold. Yeah, there's really no good way. <laughs> How long does the snare last? Is it just one turn? Right now, all three of them are there. Yeah, it's just one. Oh, if I discard this. Oh, okay. So that's the goal, but I don't have a way of discarding, I don't think. Just 
Jesus. This basically deals 8 damage, so I guess that's better. Although I kind of wasted it from the attack order, it looks a little bit. Oh, this goes through armor? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Maybe I should have done that to them, actually. Now that I think about it. Maybe I should have even played Crypt Builder here. I don't know. Still could next turn. Just root him. Oh, immune? Oh, that's fucking bullshit. Don't tell me that. Well, these guys are moving up then. Deal 15. Pirate's gonna take like two damage or something, it looks. Oh wait, do we just win? Oh, okay, I didn't know that. See, perfect fight, guys. No damage taken, no mistakes made. Uh, restore 10 health to a friendly unit, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to five times the amount healed. Huh. I kind of like Glimmer, I think Glimmer is actually okay. Can up, try to upgrade uh, it with spell power or something. Can speed up the animations even more by holding right click. Oh, I didn't know you could hold down right click. This is okay. It's not amazing though. I feel I think I actually take a glimmer here for some AOE basically. Discard a card or draw one. So I get to choose the discard, right? This, pair this with Offering. Not Offering, what's it called? Crypt Builder? I'll try it. I haven't had like a discard deck. Glimmer's Fantastic Spell Power and Holdover, yep. This is interesting. Spell Weakness. Behind the tanky guys, right? Revenge. Gain one mana. It's interesting. He is tanky. Wouldn't be the turn that you play him, though. Wait, no, you can damage him with whatever we have it. And then that kind of just makes that for free. I don't think I love it. This is fine. Let's see. So we're kind of centering at this moment around doing big damage with spell weakness, crypt builder, and what was that card? Just like offering token, maybe? And then we're also kind of focusing on healing a little bit. So maybe we want to power up the spells. Twenty magic power and consume. Permafrost. That would be good. So we put it on Crypt Builder. Perm Permafrost Crypt Builder. Ooh, that's all my gold though. That sounds weird. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. So this will still get consumed, right? Hmm. 
That's fine, really, probably. It sounds like I'm going for something that probably isn't gonna work out. <laughs> I'm good, Mr. Glimmer, I think. I think that's a good... I think it costs zero, two, even, potentially. Hmm. Two eggs, one basket, etc., etc. I think we'll want to... Playing this on a regular basis. Okay. Gain 40 max health, rejuvenate gain spikes times two. So it's another tanky guy. This is the Husk Hermit. I do have ways of increasing his attacks. So maybe that's the way we go. Maybe that'd be best, because we don't have great ways of healing yet. Start a battle, enemy units appear on each floor. Uh, for 75 gold, I'm gonna skip that. That sounds frightening. Need a sweep? There it is. Definitely using the same floor gain a bonus. Grant haste. What the fuck does that do? Haste moves directly from the first floor to the third floor. Well, they'll be dead anyway, so. Sixteen damage. Man, these guys still five. Fuck. Guess we just use some lances then. Do some stand we're gonna take. Um uh, yeah. We can do that. Can we even do this? We're gonna get a bunch of little enemies. Sweep will take care of them, I just need to keep her healthy. I'll try to skip glimmer for now. Juvenate on the sentient tour. Just throw us a train steward up there. Just play this to draw one extra next turn, basically. Utilize them. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, fuck, he's immune. I forgot. It's 97. Oh, wait, they're gonna move up to the third floor now, aren't they? Ooh, that sucks. How do you get haste? Sweet, got him. Oh, so we didn't get the haste. Well, we just use Glimmer here to get rid of it. Although he'll have spell weakness next turn, but we might not draw it. Deal seven, so I don't want him to take any more health. So that way he'll take up two hits. 
do this and then heal. Huh? What? No? Hello? What just happened? What? Oh, it subtracts our max out. I'm a fool. Crypt Builder for the big damage? Uh, may have been the choice. You'll get spell weakness. Not that it's necessary. Whatever, he's. <laughs> uh. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. Uh, I kind of like Sting usually here. No, it's a little weak too. I don't like Sharpen. It's a unit plus three plus three. These all kind of suck, right? Sting's not a horrible draw. I feel like Sharpen is especially bad. I know we have some sweep units, but we already have that other one. That raises their attack. Maybe this one isn't that bad. I don't know, it sounds bad. Might be a skip. Sharpen might be nice for a blocker. Didn't I pick up another enemy unit? I mean, another unit. I mean, our only blocker right now is this. This. We don't have great ways of healing, though. I feel like it will just kind of go a little bit to waste because they'll die fairly quickly, probably. I love it. I feel like it's a skip. What do we got here? I don't want to discard anything at random. Drain, huh? Minus six attack decreases every turn. Discard a card at random. I feel like Helica Crystallis is actually kind of okay. I feel like this does too little. I feel like I'd rather have this than this. See how this works out. Duplicate any card except your champion. What would I duplicate? I feel like we don't have anything that amazing yet. I should probably craft the unit first, huh? Frostbite plus three. And we're kind of lacking in frostbite cards, so I think we just take an incant. Plus we have some two sweet cards already. Hmm. Ooh, unit with multi-strike. That sounds pretty good for a sweepy boy here. Or maybe even the spell weakness lady. Because she'll apply two spell weakness per attack. That sounds fucking greedy. Let's do it. Get him, let's get him going. Let's fucking do him, man. Consumable card? Hmm. I don't know, I'm just gonna take one. Apply five region. Yes. He's better healing. This game has a lot more ways to remove cards. Maybe not more ways, but you're able to remove a lot more cards, it seems. So you can have pretty thin decks. The explosives. Real nice for the hero. Oh, you're right. Oh, I didn't even consider that necessarily. Well, that thing ain't going anywhere, and that's okay. So, shield sweep. Kill these two. Apply two spell weakness to this. 
for the steward. Just throw a steward up here, basically. I really don't care about this card. Mm. We drew crypt over there. It would have been pretty big. Wait, why isn't that thing? Oh, that thing got fucking silenced. Oh god damn, this one's silenced too now. I guess that doesn't matter though. Uh, we'll probably just wind up using Glimmer here. Put our Husky Hermit here. Hmm. We might as well put it on the sweep unit. I don't know how many big enemies we'll really get, though. Get, I can't read. Hmm. Edge on the multi-strike. We have two people with multi- Oh, right, 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 right. She has multi-strike. I forgot about the multi-strike. Thank you, Wrist. Eel will deal 15, yeah. Is that thing silenced again? Jesus. <laughs> All the bombs keep getting silenced. Can't discard that. There's nothing I want to deal. Uh, maybe I do just want to deal 60 to this guy, huh? Do I? I can put her over there. He's getting up there no matter what. Nothing I can really do it. Well, actually. Five, ten. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. He's getting up there. One way or another. Has double spell weakness on him right now. Very good time for this one here, probably. Should probably read though. He doesn't get this trigger effect, so that's fine. This could go off, actually. Yeah, I have no way of getting rid of that, actually. So that is gonna go off. Oh, hold up. Probably just heal a bunch here, it looks. Here, basically. Seems like a decent idea. Hmm. Will damage shield block razor sharp edge? This I do not know. I feel like it doesn't. Shouldn't block it. We'll just keep the steward alive. I don't know how important that is, really. Let's 
not block. I feel like we have no need to ensnare anyone this turn, I think. They're both dead. Oh! Damn, one off. Okay. Bastard. Alright, so he's got a lot of spell weakness. Oh. Could just play Helical Crystal, or Crypt Builder, for that matter, now, though. Yeah, I might not draw this stuff. It's probably a pretty good idea. He's dead. He deals nine. So this will deal 180, this will deal 150. Velco and Restore, I was thinking that. He hits for 9. I'm trying to think if it would be worth restoring on him. Probably not. Just take the 15. Well, actually, if we heal for n him for nothing, it deals 15 damage, which is less than just using Crypt Builder. Doesn't restore deal. Just restore, restore, frozen. Deal more damage due to trigger. No, it only deals 15 per. Per rejuvenate, it looks, right? I mean, it's questionable if this is worth restoring with if we use helical crystal but probably not I think it's probably just that answer and it looks like he's gonna take three hits to die no matter what whether we heal them or not there oh, ah, ooh, ah. Crypt Builder again for the win, I guess. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what just happened? Why was that 600 damage? He had a million spell weakness? Oh, I didn't even notice. Alright. From the multi strike? Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even think that hard about that. Alright. Hmm. Spell weakness stacks. I, d I just forgot that he was gonna have some stacks. Oh yeah, that, that shit stacks. One of my last runs I was trying to stack a lot of spell weakness, but I just didn't really have the right spells to go with it, it seemed. Like I, my spells were kind of weak. I needed more chunky spells. That does not seem great to me. Discard your hand, draw five. That's interesting. Only for the fact that we could discard multiple crypt builders. <laughs> Is that silly? I feel like there's a lot of ways that the game just blocks the first instance of damage. You like Cycle of Life? I feel like I don't. I'd rather have Channel Song, maybe. Keep Offering is pretty cool. Maybe we try to follow the theme that we have. 5,040? Holy shit. We can't gain Rage 1. Frostbite. We don't have any other ways to stack in Frostbite. I assume with Frostbite, you just want a lot of ways to stack it. I knew that would be the first one, so it seems bad. This is probably better to just take on average. Could just take nothing here too. We should start removing train stewards probably. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need we want one more. That's a pretty easy choice, it seems. Hey KS, what's up? Units cost minus two. We don't have high cost units, they all cost one. I mean, but there's no downside. Let's see the other one. Grant plus one stack of spikes each time it is applied. Do I even have any spells that apply spikes? This guy has spikes four, but it doesn't apply, so I guess we're taking the free units card. I mean it that's an interesting artifact, because it's... Usually there's... Usually they're not that good. All right, Train Swords has to be, like, the worst. Frozen Lance is pretty bad, too. I feel like the... We picked up a few units, so... We're about to pick up more. It's interesting just because we have ways of increasing attack, but not that many. So it's either a beefy boy or a glass cannon. We could only buff him once, really. Rejuvenate gains spikes too. We don't have that many ways of healing still. I think we go for that. What do we got here now? Do we just keep buffing this? Explosive times two. Revenge, draw one. We do have one more mana now. Whatever the hell this game might call it. And we do usually put it in the front. I feel like healing might not be great for us right now. We just don't have enough ways of doing it. On boss enemy units get plus six attack. Oh fuck me. 500 health? The porcupine? That's the boss. These guys have five health. These guys have 95 health with no special abilities. So these guys would have like 11. Fuck me. We have sweep. We'll be fine. Right, guys? Just gotta sweep them. What? This guy wasn't on the list. Yo, that's fucked. He's silenced. Put him in the back. Okay, easy turn. See, I told you. Probably just throw a rain steward up there for now. I can't use that pin. Oh shit, I don't have sweep on this floor. Oh, dicks. Oh wait, I can kill him with this. That seems like a pretty solid move. Keep him down. Should I have? Maybe. Hard to know. That's very good here. Uh, see, I have too many units kind of right now, it seems. I may have taken too many. Should I skip some? My spell weakness lady can't show her true colors. This seems like a glimmer turn. Is it too early for glimmer here, maybe? Maybe. Let's him 
one for one. I think a lot of damage. I'll hold on to Glimmer. Applying spell weakness here it doesn't really make sense. So I'll have to wait for a unit to die to make use of that probably. Might be a good idea to, after the next boss, increase our floor capacities. Damn, look at that there. We got both of our discard cards. Fucking game. this? Not really. It doesn't matter here. Softening him up, I guess. Put the incant for her. have a way to kill him, right? Right? Okay. Oh, great. Probably want to use Glimmer just to heal him up. I guess we're using Helical Crystal here just to kill him, since I killed that one. Ooh, I really don't want him to die. Could use Edge. Get rid of him. Yeah. Probably do that. In for the top row. And... Oh, I didn't like it. Yeah, the crystal on this row would have been good. I think we still would have lost hard though, either way, right? If we used razor sharp edge. But he is alive. I guess I'll use Gl Glimmer down here just to heal. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh man. I spent too long on like simple decisions, it seems. here with deep offering so I want to play helical crystal first or something else for that matter they're all silenced I don't know if I really want to heal Pushes them to the back. Not certain how that helps us. Uh, I guess it'll kill these guys quickly at least. Yeah. That's, it, that's all we can do. Uh, 
card draws. Hurry up. You are not dealing a lot of damage here. All right, we have Crypt Builder. What are you doing, game? Discard. Snare does nothing, but it'll help with the can't. We'll draw one more next turn. He deals 12, so healing him once here lets him soak one more hit. But healing him more than once does not seem fruitful. He's Razor Sharp Edge. She's going to take two hits to die no matter what, even after using that. Could heal him again. And he's Razor Sharp Edge. Eh. I'd rather just start fucking up these things at that point. Maybe I just start dealing damage. Let's do that. Hopefully we'll get that plus one health basically. that bad boy. Awake. Con preserved thorns. So I don't, I don't, I don't, bleh. And snare ain't doing much for me, so I don't think we do that. You think awake? I'm, I'm thinking awake, maybe. Nice chunky awake here. Big heals. We need healing, kind of, to make this work better. Thorns is nice. Thorns does seem nice in general. Good friend can't synergy. Ooh. Extra draws, too. We have a lot of encant. Let's do that. You convince me. No. I don't like it. This kind of works because he has one. He caught. He cost one uh, floor space, which we have a lot going on. Yeah, the mage has to be the choice, right? We got a fairly large deck still here. We just have a lot of cards that are not really helping. We really got to get rid of the last two train stewards, probably. Getting to be more choosy where I put our units to. Words of spells. Yeah, we'll do that. Drop the green sweeper. Doesn't seem that useful. I think I powered him up too, so that's a, that'd be a shame. He's not seen helpful. What else you got? Hold over. I mean, the train swords are worse than the green sweeper, I guess. That's Kermit. over on crypt for offering it's not a bad idea we have a lot of gold too huh what's the difference between holdover and frozen oh when played this card is placed on top of your draw pile next turn oh when played this card is placed on top of your draw pile next turn we just keep getting Crypt Offering over and over. I'm not sure if Turgia plays it. It said, I think it does, Wrist, because it says when you discard it, you play it, I think. It'll, it'll, it will instead be played. We only have two of them. Put 
put a hold over on the zero cost offering. That's, that seems to make more sense. Yeah, I thought it was Frozen 2 at first, ABC. That's what I was thinking of. So this way, every time we play it, we can play this every turn. There's no, there's really no downside to it, it seems. That sounds like a good idea. Do we reroll now? Anything I'd really want to upgrade here? Maybe deep offering? It's not bad. Glimmer, helical crystal, crystallis. This is too many words. Something cheaper, yeah. Probably not that. Probably crystals. Hold over an offering is net negative, no? I don't think so. It seems confusing. Because it trades a draw for filtering? Puts it on top? But we still draw, and the hope is we discard... It doesn't draw anything, it just changes. But then if we discard Crypt Builder, right? And let you cycle less useful cards. Or set to... Ooh, we reroll now. Maybe we even purge some another shitty card, like Frozen Lance. Those are pretty bad. Create a spell to remove, consume, and cost plus one. What would that be? Thorns? Probably not that. Not that. I doubt that one. What do you guys think about that? We could fill our deck with thorns? <laughs> oh, come on. That sounds pretty weird. Is that getting silly? There's like an artifact that increases your sting damage, I think. I have the mage, that's true. I feel like how it's very easy to remove cards, filthy becomes less useful and how I felt. I can see that. already upgraded once. Could just make a random restore cheaper. Could make that cheaper. We want to play it almost every time we get it. I feel like that makes sense. Move the consume. Really? So we can keep playing it? I can still do it. There we go. <laughs> Basically, it cost us like 110 gold to remove consume from that. That's that's how it evened out to be. Magic power and crystallis. You think so? But consume too? I guess it'll go back. <laughs> what the hell's this? Feels double? Oh, right, because it triggers twice. Nine rings of hell, blah, blah, blah. Which pile do you inspect further? What the, what's going on here? Playing a blade card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit, purge. Once play this card is removed from your deck for the rest of the run. So basically you get to play this once and it deals 100 damage. We do have the spell weakness thing. Unplayable, unpurgeable. And summoned friendly units get plus one attack for every blight card in your deck. We have one. These so are kind of like curses, huh? Oh, we gained three of these. Maybe this is the cycling we were talking about. Oh, you get three of these too. Every unit gets plus four. We do have a lot of sweep and multi strike. Well, two sweeps, one multi strike. It won't yet. 
this plus three? Yeah. All right, what's the last one? When you play your first blight card each turn, restore five pyre health. Reserve your pyre takes one day. I don't like that one. Like the shards. You like this one? If this card remains in your hand at the end of your turn, for runs where the deck is cheap, the deck is pretty cheap, huh? Pretty healthy, though. I feel like this one's kind of fun, but also probably terrible. I don't really like the sound of this one. We do have the spell weakness, but it'd probably be pretty wonky to get working. And it at least, it, this goes away eventually, you could say. Hey, pessimist. Let's try it. Let's try the massive stones that I got in my pants. How is this? Oh, it's just plus 10. For some reason, I thought I was thinking it was the other thing. <laughs> Alright, let's go, finally. We can cycle? I sure hope so. It's the stealth person. I hate the stealth person. Harvest. Gain armor 10. I feel like we're kind of weak. We strong now? I feel, <laughs> I feel like we're weak. Hopefully some of this shit gets uh, silenced here. Fuck it, let's do it. I do not exude confidence, but maybe I have to get going. Okay, spell weakness on the first floor. I like the sound of that. Is this Slay the Spire on steroids? It's uh, similar to Slay the Spire, yeah. It came out just like a week ago, I think. It's definitely got some similarities. It's got lanes in it. The enemies ascend. Hey, Drexos. This seems pretty solid. I'll probably just give this to her. Probably want to sweep on this floor. We can put her in the front. No, you don't really want her in the front. This kind of doesn't matter. Wait, you know these people have encamp, do they? Didn't put it on the multi. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Keep forgetting it has multi strike. But even then, she has sweep. I don't know. The six damage here doesn't do anything. Does it? Do it? Right? Because it'll... No, wait, it does. Fuck, I'm an idiot. No, it doesn't, apparently. Wait, what? What's happening? Whatever. Also, we draw from her getting hit. It's fine, Wrist. I was saving it for this turn. Alright. Sweepy boy in the front here, probably. Where's my mage? Just throw her up here, basically. Sure. Them in the back. You can play Crypt Builder. Probably slam the guy up here, right? Oh, yeah, he's getting fucking slammed. Fucking downtown. So, strat, absorb the damage, apply spell weakness, and then slam him. Slam him on this floor, basically. So we probably want the mollusk. But then again, we need heals over here, right? Mollusk Mage go. Yeah. 
See, it's like overkill on this guy. Probably use stings on this guy. I'll have the looping potion. Where the fuck is it? But it's like overkill up here, it seems. Mage is, but that's what I mean. The mage boosts the healing. Seems like a good turn for Glimmer, too, here. Is it? Probably. So... I think I've already made a mistake, but I'm doing that. Oh, that pushes him in the back. Interesting. I think I don't want to play that Glimmer yet. It's worth some. Yeah, I'm sure they'll eventually take care of him. Maybe we'll have to use the thorns on him or something. Wait, she deals. Well, that heals for nine. That's a good amount. I think we can save the glimmer then. What the fuck was that? Oh shit, I didn't use that in the right floor for the incant. Uh, use one here to make sure he dies. Bye bye spell weakness. You look upset, wrist. I told you I wasn't good at this game. Offering? You think so? What for? Let's consume. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, don't don't start. Don't need the offering. I hope the draw was something else. Yeet it out of the hand, do you think? What would I draw? And snare. And nothing else. I don't want to do... But then I couldn't play this. If I draw this, then that's bad, because then I can't play it. Yeah. We'll let it, we'll let it sit. We could draw with Crypt Builder Silk. Look at that fucking crystal. Whoa. <laughs> we didn't draw a crypt builder. Can we draw it now? It's a lot of stings. He has 13 health. There must be an easy way of killing him here. Where our units don't take damage. That's way overkill. Discard dead weight, worst, scenario, worst case scenario. That's true. <laughs> Easy game. Alright, how do we kill him? Don't want these guys taking damage necessarily. Oh, bitch. Just uh, for the encant on this floor. Damn it, there's no target. Alright, draw one. A brief respite. There's no enemies. <laughs> Alright, so we just want to encant and heal up. Anything that's injured, he's slightly injured still. Could you eat this out of the deck now? You should have play offering for the holdover. Oh, good point. No, I want that. I don't want to play this this turn. Can you use things for free? You can. So I'll encant away it right here. I'll heal him once. Play that. Uh, she'll be at full, right? So... Hmm. I fucking hate the stealth. The 
still stack the restore on her. Yeah, maybe that was good. It's hard to know. Let's play this. Ugh. Well, just take the spell damage while we can here, I guess. Still only adds one region. Will that make a difference? She hits for 12, huh? That's too much math for me to figure out. Figure it out, I feel. Do I continue to hold on to Glimmer? Will I ever play Glimmer? Why didn't that heal the full? I'm confused by that. 53, oh, out of 53, I thought it said 55, never mind. Oh, right, she's stealth, no! My spell weakness! Oh, that's fucking horse shit. Her cell's gone, but spell weakness, zero. It's grade A baloney. Get wrecked. Yeah, basically just play a shitload of spells, right? What are you doing, game? I don't even really got to think about this part, at least. I don't think. Play the region here? It's for 12, huh? Nah, Crypt Builder just kills. So. Done. Okay. Looks like it, this is working, right? Draw plus one each turn. No, we definitely don't need that, right? Oh my god, we don't need any of these! Oh, this looks like a hard skip. Too much draw. Way too much draw. That's interesting. This seems pretty decent, just from first glance. Apply Frozen to a card in your hand. Will Frozen last the whole battle? Gain Frozen when drawn. Frozen card is not discarded in any turn. Frozen is moved when the card is played. Okay, so it's not for the whole game. That's interesting, too. But probably not necessary. Although, maybe. Maybe. We want tankiness, I think, though. The goal is to apply spell weakness by tanking hits on the first floor. Bonk them on the second floor with Crypt Builder or something, or other shit. I don't know, I like the sound of that. I don't know if this is really gonna work. How is our deck so thick still? So it's probably a second floor thing? You think so? Oh, right, because we put the mage on the first floor. We can put the mage on the second floor, but then you just don't get the bonus healing. Artifacts? Hmm. Kind of like the artifact here, I think. We Most of our spells are practically upgraded. Way. We'll move like these lances that aren't doing shit. The snare's not great either, but lance is like really bad, it seems. Can't abilities trigger an additional time. Heavenly eh. units get plus three health. Eh. Can only afford one here. 50% chance to apply days when enemy and enemy unit enters your train. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Daze means they don't attack, right? Seal sounds fun. Could be. Ooh, especially with that new totem, right? You may not want dazed. Why? What's what is? Wait, what is daze? You know, daze skips its next attack. Doesn't allow you to draw. 
Oh, right. We'll get the revenge draw. I hear ya. I feel you, boys. We'll try the encamp bullshit. And I think you're right. You don't really want the armor on the first floor because you want to be able to heal. All right. This battle feels like the true test because this is where I usually die. Because of these stupid fucking things. Probably. I'd probably rather play Crypt Builder than play that. You got the spell weakness right away and everything, so that's good. Good draw. And we'll get spell weakness on that too. Don't need the crypt builder. Yeah, I would just hit that thing, right? I guess that's kind of silly. It's just five damage on the pyre. It just seems like so little. But I guess we kind of don't care because it's about to sweep. Can we kill the backline either way? Yeah. Get that sweep in. Look at those draws. They're dead. Easy enough. Yeah, we probably do want the mage down here. The can't send you on the second floor. You could do the double encants. Seems like a pretty good idea, huh? She gets plus health. And we'll do that. Put her in the front, I think. Just throw a sweepy boy up here, just to start doing work on that, basically. Hmm. Could get the double spell weakness from Glimmer now. Either way, I'm playing Thorns here. No! Game! What are you doing? <laughs> God damn. For Christ's sakes, if I hold the card too long, hey Carlos. It's not too, it's pretty similar to Slay the Spire. You'd probably pick it up if you just watched for like 20 minutes, honestly. I felt like Grifflands took a lot longer to figure out compared to this game. Humor seems weird here. Let's right, play the Stings, get the Incants in. Everything's dead there. She only takes one damage. Maybe the region is good though. Or do I just want to encant right here? Yeah, I don't need. There's no need to pop it. We could just try to stack it. I guess the question is, would I rather get a restore on here? I mean, she's gonna be pretty healthy, so I guess I'd rather just get the encant now, right? I'm going to the glimmer for now. A spell that I never use just because it has consumed. Okay. No crit builder in hand. We do have deep buffering. Wait. I can just deep offering to get that to go away. I'll put that there. Do we have our mage yet? No. Or the totem. The fuck? Bottom five cards? I guess so. So is offering token. Ooh. This is actually a decent time to play deep offering because we are guaranteed to draw all five of these. Make this go away, basically. Probably play the crystals here. Throw a heal up. Snare on this guy, maybe? Slam the region potion. Oh, I didn't even notice I had the region potion. That seemed, that always seems like the good move. And snare for this. For the encant. These don't count as spells, right? I don't think so. 
Oh, right, I can't do that now anyway, so we just play Deep Offering after I make my last decision here, so... Just make him dead. Warren can't bullshit right there. Put down our mage. I guess we use Offering and Crypt Builder up here just to make that go away, right? I mean, yeah, we do have the sweep, you're right. And this thing will be dead fairly soon anyway, so just do it for the encant. It just seems so wrong. It seems naughty. Alright. Right. Is there any possible reason why we wouldn't want to do this? I don't think so. Because that probably counts as being played. Oh, okay, yeah. Holy shit. So much encanting. Oh yeah, hit her. She likes the pain. Nothing to ensnare in the middle for encants. So we can't do that. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, could do it again right here. Doesn't do anything, but I don't know. We kind of would like to use it here, it looks, though. Maybe? Maybe not. Let's have this. Doesn't quite kill him. We do have Sting in the hand also. Just get Glimmer out of the deck. Is it in my hand? Can't even tell anymore. Seems good enough. Ah, uh, that's fine. I think it's fine for the spell power because she's gonna get... Well, actually, do we want to just stack tons of spell power now? Just let the spell power keep stacking here. Ugh. Probably worth it for the doubling camp there. I'm just trying to think of which orders we do this. Okay, I think we do it like this. Sting. Offering. Ripped. Yeah, that pushes him to the back. Kind of forgot about that part. Guess we do this. Do I? Yeah. Do I? Double and can't. Double and can't. Can't remove anything. Do that for the plus one draw. I feel like the double encant on this floor is probably better than given this. Yeah, we'll keep them healthy here. Of that sweet, sweet spell weakness. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I'll try to use it. Do we have other ways of drawing? Not this turn. Dude, can we get it? Nope. Just get rid of one of these, because I can't deal with two of them this turn, really. Alright, so I don't want to hurt because I want to keep stacking that for now. All right, let's just play this. Seems like we'll be fine. Seems. I'll just add more region here. No. We have to use Sting on this floor because I don't want to waste the damage here from spell weakness. There's a one there. Do that for more enchants, I think. Okay, what do we got? Alright, we're slamming it down, boys. 
There's no way to add damage to this, right? It's time to slam. It's only times four, it's really not that crazy. Three hundo. Very worth the wait. Seem like that's subtracting two armor. Alright, he's dead now. Can I kill him? I'm gonna just play the thing more. Damn, he's taking a lot of damage. Dear lord, there's more? Jesus, this fight takes too much time. All right, well, Crypt Builder's here. Oh my god, there's two of them now. Just don't really care about the heal. It's gonna actually gain health out of this fight. Horn can't. Champs region. Seven. I think it's fine. So it'll be at 47 health after this. Maybe I should heal. Pump it up, you think? Under and seven attack on that thing. No matter how busted you feel, you want to get more busted. Apparently we're only dealing 190 damage to this guy this turn. But when he gets to this floor, it'll be quite a bit more. He deals 20 per hit. Fuck me. Yeah, we can play this. Uh, we probably just want to play this here. Uh, the region, huh? Well, I can't play that on the floor that we want to. Regener. There we go. This seems like a wise idea. Yeah, that's shot up quite a bit. It's probably more worth the 12 damage. Would you stop doing that game? I'd imagine this is worth more than 12 damage. Those are a lot of fucking cards. <laughs> She's fucking dead. <laughs> Oh, what, what? Ten? Does it cap at ten? All right, do it. Six sixty. I think the cap might be ten. Cause I feel like it would have hit more than ten times. I could be wrong. Ooh, interesting. We have so much card draw that the downside of drawing this over another card isn't doesn't seem so bad. I feel like this card's kind of okay. This seems kind of weak here. Units already cost zero. Although, yeah. I mean, if it hits the right unit, it could be really good, obviously. Basically, the multi-strike. That's only one. We only have one multi-strike, right? No, we have two multi-strikes, actually. Hmm. I guess our units don't have that much health? Hmm. 
Hmm. Tough choices here, I think. Although the heal is always good. It always deals 15 at least. And actually, we're about to upgrade the hero anyway. I think this should be pretty good here. Instead now. It feels like we don't even need this. We obviously don't need the draw. We'll take the floor space. Last space. Duplicate a card. That is interesting. Double multi strike spell weakness. Sweep. Uh, that's something. Duplicate the token. It's not that crazy, right? We could. This Encant Synergy seems pretty powerful. Duplicating Thorns would actually be pretty interesting. But then sometimes we're drawing a bunch of Thorns that we don't want. Too, yeah, it would be too many Thorns. Yeah, we're definitely going this way, I think. Although, what are we removing here? This card's not great anymore. And Snare does nothing, really. It just kind of helps with encanting, but I think that can get yeeted. Probably get rid of, rid of a Restore, too. Snare ain't too bad. Just get rid of double Restores, then. Drop some bad units. Well, we just upgraded our floor space, so I think we do have use for all of them. Although we might want to recruit more. Who's a bad unit then? It's basically Sweepy Man here. He's been upgraded twice. Spikes for 840. This one's pretty bad. I think that one's pretty bad. Your cheap upgrades. You're cheap. We don't have good ways of upgrading the attack on this guy. Deep offering might be worth considering, yeah. It's, it has consume at least. If it didn't have consume, it'd be pretty bad. It did something in the last fight. A little something. Not like a shitload. Alright, I'm gonna do one restore. Sweepy Man is a tank for a. Actually, you're right. He is kind of shitty, huh? Drop a razor sharp edge. I think so. Yeah, because eventually those start stop getting good. Keep the free one. All of our beautiful spells for encanting, though. The old pump and dump. How good do you want your first tech cycle? That's a good point. I've seen this before. All right, I'm not doing that one because that seems terrible. That's like really bad. I feel like this isn't very good either. So I think we just do this, right? I feel like I've taken that most of the time. Probably just the icy silo fight. It's also one of these encants. The Animus of Will, tons of space to buffer attack. It's interesting with razor sharp edge. So hard. But we also could just buff this attack too at the same time more. I like her better. Plus, the more health she has, the more time she can tank the boss to apply more spell weakness. 
Alright, what am I duplicating here? Fuck it, let's go all in. Offering token. Uh, we don't need the draw more. Oh, that just adds a shitload of health. Okay. Thirty-five health, or deal thirty damage to front enemy unit instead of fifteen. I feel like the extra health would do more. It could be crazy. We kept in snare, right? If we can keep beefy enemies on the first floor. Second explosive is pretty neat. Ah, it's tough. Can't decide. Non-boss enemy units. Store all health when they move up a floor. That sounds terrifying. Oh my god. That has a lot of health, too. Nah, nah, nah. I get fucked. No way. We're not bursty? Are we, actually? With the spell damage? Maybe we are. But they're not gonna die to one... What the fuck you call it? This thing isn't gonna die to one... Whatever you might call it. I'm not gonna do the extra reward. Seems too spicy. <sighs> Multi strike deal sixteen. Chant. Other friendly units on the same floor gain a bonus. Grant multi strike. So if I kill this, it doesn't get multi strike anymore. I see. Hmm, are we gonna put this on the first floor? We can. We can still put the spell weakness lady in here too. Don't really want to play her this turn. Encant away, boys. Player this turn. They want her there though, still. Alright, how the fuck do I kill this thing? <laughs> Draw Crypt Builder. Fuck. Wait, I already had it. Never mind. Easy game. Alright, now sweepy him. <laughs> Now we just give him the old sweep. <laughs> Snare. Let's play Glimmer now. Could play Glimmer here just to avoid him taking health, but that seems silly. These things do die, right? Yes. Yes. We're encanting. Spend the glimmer. I don't know why I like hold on. What the fuck is that? Damn. Woo! Woo! Hello. I just wasted this. I get too excited, but I see it. Oh. Uh. And totem. Good use, yep. Play both of these here. Who are my other? I have one more lady that who encants, I think.
I like last battle setup better. It's true. The mosque on the first floor. Putting her here was possibly a mistake. I don't know. It's not bad. All the encants in one area. Yeah. Now they're all going to be spread out. We'll put the mosque here. We'll put the other encant up top. Probably. Unless we lose this, something. I doubt it, though. All right, well, let's just do this first. I don't see how we lose a unit, really. This should be fine, because if they get spell weakness, then the mage will help with that. Could just put him up here now, in case he's not here for the next time. I draw the other lady. Guess we're playing deep offering, are we? No, probably not. Yes, are we? Ooh, we are. Yeah, get out of the deck. Can't. Fuck, we drew both crypt builders. So there's no way we draw the Crypt Builders here. It's in here. We'll just use the offerings to encant, basically. There's really no downside to the offerings, it seems. All right, so she goes up here. Not that I'll be encanting up there anytime soon. Especially since we have these dead weights. The dump lane, yep. Four shores. I mean, I guess I just do this. I just like play it all right. <laughs> Holy shit. 49 rage. I need more heals here. Oh, speaking of heals. Okay, so now we just play a shitload of spells, right? Oh my god. Stack the regen, yep. Holy. Oh, I can't ensnare anything, so we discard that. Doesn't matter. There we go, 68 rage. Is the boss. Looks like we're gonna deal some damage. He's silence. That's good. When attacking, ex excess damage is applied to the subsequent enemy unit. Oh, fuck. I didn't know he had trample. Oh! Knock him back. Wait, how does that work? If he's in the back, what does that mean? can't ensnare him. It doesn't mean anything, right? If he's knocked back. This means that this, late, this thing will get attacked first. Is he getting multi from the guy behind him? He is, yeah. Should be. Yeah. Well, we can kill the guy behind him, too. This deals more than Crypt Builder, though, right? Oh wait, we have to move it to the front. Uh, so we can kill the thing in the, behind him, so at least it gets rid of that. So it doesn't hit twice right away. So that pushes him back, then we play this. Now he doesn't have multi-strike. Okay, now we win. All right, game one. Oh my god, he didn't even kill anything. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, we don't need the draw. Pyre shards? I mean, it's not bad, right? 
I kind of like that it has consume almost because I don't want to keep drawing it probably. I don't think I'd want it, not for one at least. What do you think here, Wrist? Could be all right. Put on the lady in the front. We are energy starved, so should be could be okay. Okay at best. Don't like the other two. You want a stronger opening draw? This is not a strong opening draw then. Yeah. I mean, we're, we might always just draw three dead weights. I feel like it doesn't do that much. It's all about setup, right? There are low health units that will kill, but we have sweep for all that. So it doesn't seem necessary. One, deal one damage to a random enemy unit five times. What? Huh? We got these two guys again. Ice Storm, is that good? We have the mage. Mage adds seven, so it would be seven times five, so it would be 35. Make it thick. And then if it has spell weakness. You really think so? Something got a hundred damage spell. I'll try it out. I believe in you, wrist. All right, so we need to buff our spells. We don't want to consume it, really. That's terrible. Could make it cost less. We don't want to make it consume, right? Do we? Maybe we do. Maybe that's okay. Hmm. Could just re roll this. Basically, you'd want to save it for like something cheaper here, I guess. Deep offering, maybe. While we still have it, or maybe just a restore, even. This shitty glimmer, also. I don't really want to make Ice Storm cheaper. I want to buff up the damage more. I kind of like that. We might just want to remove restores, though. Ember Drain? What's oh, Ember Drain? <laughs> what do you speak? We'll do that. I don't like Stack Stone here. Something an enemy can put on you? Permafrost. That sounds pretty good. Throw it on Crypt Builder. Almost would have permafrosted it. You think so? Over it? Uh, I don't know. Throw this on Crypt Builder basically for now. Purge a card. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I guess so. We have a lot of gold. Amos of Will kind of does nothing still. Oh, that's an artifact. Bye. Whoops. I probably should have looked here first. You don't have an X cost card. Gain seven mana on the first turn of battle. Jesus. At the end of your turn, apply Froze to a random card in your hand. That sounds pretty good. Because when we get stuck with Crypto, but hold on, will that apply to Blight cards? Could that be really bad, in fact? 
Alright, I'll be right I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Hits the blank cards because you have two of those zero cost offerings. Sounds pretty good. Improved firebox doesn't sound great. Because we don't really have good card draw. Yeah, if we if we get crypt builder and deep offering, I guess it works, but it's only if we get those two. Although this also helps us potentially set up better at the start. We don't mm, that's only really if we get deep offering in turn one. Plus, playing Crypt Builder turn one, not usually that great, I'd imagine, right? Kind of like the Fracture. Like the Ice Goliath? Yeah, I think it's good, too. Alright, the end. Can't purge a card. Seraph the Temperant. Is this, like, the end? I guess so. Jesus. Friendly units enter with sap three. Our friendly units? That's not the end of the world because we deal most of the damage with spells. Does that effect kind of random? An amazing draw, not a horrible draw. Um, could put all three down here, honestly. It's not a horrible. Choice. See what offering draws us. Yeah, because we don't have any way to increase our spell damage or anything, so. Okay. We drew all this. Okay. Um so we want all the encants on one. Let's put these three on the bottom floor. His trigger is silenced. He has multi-strike too. Sacking the animus on the second floor. You wouldn't even kill him though, right? Set up the nameless up there. Yeah, I wouldn't even kill him. We could just put her down. Yeah, nameless can block. Do we want to do that, or we just want Nameless up here? She'll get the kill on this thing. Drop all three on the bottom floor. It's not that crazy. You can stack all the encants right here. Yeah, I think that seems like a decent strategy. And there's a will in the back. Don't get to kill that, though. That's the only thing. Oh, right, because we have the sap bullshit. This thing still dies, though. She's probably gonna die. Unless I can get, like, a miracle here. I don't know how we would, though. 
Kings one rage. Yeah, she's got 40 damage staring at her. Sweepy boy! Back to save the day! He'll die, though, first. He'll die from it. One eight, that's 40. But he won't kill anything, though, right? We do have two crypt builders and one offering in hand. He'll die before he gets to attack, right? Isn't that what happens? See what we draw? Floor 2 slam. Yeah. Oh shit. Come on and slam. Oh, after playing the can't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Should I have done that? Maybe. It's all. We only lost. Well, we actually lost two. But, well. I guess we're gonna play a crypt builder in here to sell too. Because we can kill this thing in the front that's stealing most of the damage. Alright, let's just do that. Oh, that was frozen. Start healing up down there. Should I put the mage up top? Could heal her too. Seems unnecessary. fuck just happened? Hold the mage, you think? We'll see if this... He, he should get frozen, right? He did. The fuck just happened? Oh, great. Now there's a fourth enemy. Did I get, did I get my full heal? I didn't, but I drew Glimmer, so that's fine. We actually wanted the sweeper to die. Because then we could have played both the totems, right? He could still let him die this turn. Because we might be able to play everything but these two. Is that really that good of a thing? I'm wondering. Can force kill it? With helix? I can use helix on it? I'm not gonna play that on him. Yeah, that's front unit on Helical. See what the draw gets? Probably gonna play Helical up here, right? So. I'm just trying to think, do I want to try? Nah, I guess we try to utilize the encants here, for the most part. Tough choices here. You take that damage? From this guy, you think? We don't need to? Uh, I'm sure we can take it. So this deals 40, so he'll die in one hit at least. Yeah, he, he just deals 10. What's up, El Baricio? We're playing uh, Monster Train. Sort of similar to Slay the Spire. Other other one single player card games. All right, I think it's safe to say we play Glimmer down here to fucking wipe out bottom row. Okay, okay, okay. 
It's the last battle, so no need to worry about health that much. Good point. Hmm. I don't think we're going to play Deep Offering this turn. Uh, then again, we're definitely not playing Ice Storm this turn. So we want to try to save that. He's going to get some spell weakness on him, so maybe we get to play that fairly soon. But maybe we can get Frozen on it. Uh... Now get rid of Offering, I think. See if we can freeze it. I kind of want to freeze this guy, too, though, is the thing. I don't know, we'll see. Tonight's stream exclusively from Monster Train. We played Hades a little bit earlier, but we're finishing it off with some Monster Strain. That guy has a lot of fucking health. Why does he only take four? Oh, it's because Sweepy Boy dies. Style Smith. What the fuck? Stop doing that game. Me out. We kind of want him to die. Alright. Can't seem to kill him though. It's annoying. Probably want to keep her healthy. Feel that 30 while we're at it too, you know? Just keep encanting right here, basically. All right. Can't play these two guys up here, unfortunately. So we probably just want to put down the stone here. Who's that? Don't we have another unit still? Do we? No, I guess we don't. Am I crazy? Why did I think we had another one? Did someone die? Something died, probably. Alright, this way we get to play both of these guys on the second floor. And that way we get to encamp, we get the magic power, etc, etc. That works. Probably doesn't matter that much. I hope it doesn't. Okay. Try to get Crypt Builder right here. Oh, we already have one. Never mind. Dead. Uh, he has spell weakness, right? No, he doesn't. Why? 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 Who keeps applying sap? This is fucking bullshit. Boss applies sap. God damn it. From zero to zero. Did I just play offering up here? Well, I guess I'm questioning where I play the offering. We only have one Crypt Builder. One out of ten. Probably play the full heal down here. Guess we'll ensnare one of them? God damn, we can't kill anything. It's probably more worthwhile to play the Sting up here. What the fuck am I doing? I can't play in snare over here. I mean, you can't. Stop doing that. I'm trying to think game. Okay, that's not terrible. Fuck 
fucking sap's ruining me. That's probably why I didn't apply spell weakness, because it dealt zero damage. Motherfuckers. Okay, so we have one Crypt Builder in hand, both offerings. Ice Storm in hand, but we're not doing that. Did that get frozen? No. What got frozen? Restore. Um, so I think we just do that here? Yeah. Seems like it's time to slam. Oh, boy. Level slam party. Try to save this guy. All right, he's going to live already. Baby back to I don't know, is that even worth it? I mean yeah for the encamp, I'm saying. How's his health? His is quite low. Let's get that back up. Maybe I should have done all the heals down here. He's dead. 93 hit right there. I wanna try to get spell weakness on him, but that's gonna be tough, huh? Because, unless I get more Razor's Edge on this thing. Clapping happened after boss rounds? So here comes more saps. Alright, what's in the box? There she is. 67. Oh, they have spell weakness. Oh my god, get destroyed, son. Sting him. I don't want to do anything down here, really, right? Oh, shit. Oh, we got the full heal. We're fine. to keep him down here even really I'm just trying to think do I even want to ensnare that oh we do have razor sedge now there we go hmm. don't know either way we're playing this thing up here Let him go. Yeah, let them tank him. Finally, the weakness. Go ahead and sap them, you fool. See what it does. Oh my god. I love this game. <laughs> power. Sting him. Alright, so do we try to get... Do we go for broke here? Nah, we just use it now. Don't get greedy, right? I could even try to draw the crypt. Maybe we do that first. Yeah, I think we try to do that first. Didn't get it. That's okay. heals up big time. Uh, I do not want to use Sting here, right? I don't think so. Are we certain we don't want to Ice Storm? 38 times 5. 150. 190. 190 times 3. 190 times 3? 
Is that not enough? I agree, hold it. And stack a million spell weakness. Oh, right, toward the end, right? Da, 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 da. So should I just throw out the sting now then? For the encant? Eh, nah, seems unnecessary. Okay, fair enough, you guys win. Oh! I only need that full heal again, it feels. Final wave! Wow. All right, let's get him out of the way, it looks. That first. This thing lives with 40 health? What? Oh, because it gains armor. And we deal like nothing. Could just. So he'll just die on his own recognizance. I only lose 10 armor out of it. But I could encant a bunch. You see what's in the box? Well, I guess my question is do I throw out the box up in the middle floor for the encants, or do I try to get this thing down? In bottom lane, though? Yeah, that was my, that was my question, really. Is that even worthwhile anymore? Or do I just use it for the encant up here? Hmm. Ten times three, thirty. He deals thirty. Hmm. Throw him in the bottom lane, you think? Yeah, because this thing dies anyway. We want we want to tank as much as we can here, right? So it means we want to kill some of this stuff. Sting this bastard. Peace. Was it... <laughs> Don't go making regrets on me now, Wrist. All right, he's at 55, so Helical will kill this thing. So at least we avoid 10 damage on him, but does that really matter? We're doing this no matter what. Oh wait, no, we can just heal with this. We can kill him with that. Use the Hel Helical up here. All right, I'm, hap I'm happy with the series of events. Things worked out. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a pretty big hit here. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty thick ice storm. Oh my god, when does it end? It's going nice and slow. God, the noises are so loud too. 14? Uh, that's 14 times 140. I mean, 180. 190? Finisher? That's gotta be enough, right? Wow, we didn't technically have enough. Is there any way we can buff this up more without me fucking it up? Mage can't stack any more spell power. I just don't want to fuck it up. Oh, it's a random enemy I just noticed. 570 times... Oh, she only got like three hits in! I was expecting a little more than that. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a thick hit. Huh? Oh, okay. Yay! Oh, fucking great. Hell yeah. 
By winning a run with these cards, you've unlocked their golden card frames. Oh, I had no idea. Plus 17 more? So wait, every single card I played with is golden? Interesting. I doubt this one would appear that often. I think the first, my first win actually wasn't a full win, because I think the first time you win, uh, you don't actually get all the way down to the bottom. Holy shit. I like, I kind of like that quick ability. 